What's going on, world? What to do? Back at you with another video here. Normal lifestyle. No, everyday stuff. I don't know if this actually, you know, qualifies for this channel because, you know, normal lifestyle. But this is a day in my normal life. Let me tell you about this shit here. So, wake up in the morning, normal day, getting ready. You know, nigga, I got to work all that good shit. Okay. Here fucking noise. Damn, here go the neighbors again. Early in the fucking morning. All right, so here the neighbors and shit. I'm like, damn, why the fuck it sound like they outside of my door? Go open the door. What the hell do I see? Goddamn neighbors. Some fucking basketball shorts, no shirt on. What the fuck is he doing outside my door? This motherfucker is trying to hang himself from the top floor of the apartments. So this nigga's over the rail off the third floor hanging his dumb ass down by the second floor in front of my goddamn door. <laughs> the shit ain't funny, but I can't make this shit up. So I'm looking like, damn, nigga, is you all right? You, the nigga damn near gagging and shit like, what the fuck? He trying to kill himself. Me, I'm observing the situation. Hold up. Nigga, you trying to kill yourself. Why the fuck is you got your toes on the rail down here like you trying to clam back up? Nigga, if you was trying to kill yourself, your feet supposed to be dangling. I know. Insensible. Call what you want. This nigga got a fucking problem. I'm telling you, it's always something. So, I'm like, damn, what do I do? Do I grab this nigga and try to help him up? Save his life? Hell, he might fault me for that. He might really want to die. But then on the other hand, it's like, fuck, nigga, COVID is out here. So, this nigga might have a coronavirus. I need to stay six feet away. It's already bad enough this nigga outside my door, so do I grab him and try to help him up and risk getting the corona? Don't want to spread that shit to my family either. What the fuck do I do? So, I'm going to go get the phone call 911. I'm going to call the police, get this nigga some help so they can get him, you know, I don't know about it though. He got his feet on the rail, he, you know. He gagging a little bit. And then not only that, this nigga, he ain't trying to hang himself with no fucking rope. The nigga got a fucking tie down that you tie shit down on the truck with. Wrapped around the motherfucking rail and around his neck two, three times. And his ass is down here dangling. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> you can't make this shit up. The shit's not funny, but I'm like, God damn. No matter what's going on, it can't be that goddamn bad where you ready to kill yourself. Especially at eight in the morning. At eight in the fucking morning, you ain't even had enough to go wrong within the day yet to want to kill yourself. So who the fuck does this type of shit? This is fucking unbelievable. But like I said, my fucking neighbors, they always trying to do something. This nigga wake up in the morning and want to kill yourself. Then when I get out there, I look up because the nigga gone. I get back out there. He didn't manage to get back up. His fucking son, his little fat ass landing over the rail laughing. Him and his wife. Ha, ha. So we, sorry about that. Sorry. Nigga, you don't be sorry. Y'all need to get that nigga some help. You need to be sorry for his ass. This nigga just tried to hang himself with a fucking tie down. Who does that? A fucking tie down. I done seen, I done heard about rope. I done heard about sheets. You know, some shit. This nigga had a fucking tie down. One of the thick motherfuckers too, like the, the, Three, four inch joints. Oh, nigga, come on. You gotta be out your fucking mind to try to hang yourself with a fucking tie down. How you walk around the rest of the day after you did some shit like that? It doesn't make any fucking sense. I gotta get the fuck out of these apartments. I'm, they about to drive me fucking crazy. I mean, you... <laughs> Between the noise, this nigga trying to hang himself, my shit turning the ghetto over. It used to be a good neighborhood. Not any fucking more. Nope. No, it's not. Mm -mm. Nowhere fucking near it. Can't believe it. 